just in some mag tech. 180 grain bonded jacketed hollow point. I am seeing this in bulk in all of the big box stores, excluding Walmart. I haven't seen it at Walmart, but I've seen it in like the Gander Mountains, the Dicks, the places like that. All the sporting goods stores, and they're pretty much giving this stuff away. It's not that expensive for a box of 50. It's a bonded bullet, 180 grain. I grabbed a couple boxes. Uh, it's been shooting fine out of the Glock 23, and we're going to shoot it today through four layers of denim, calibrated gel like we always do in ballistics tests. Let's get it checked out and see what kind of defensive ammo this is, and if it's worth picking it up. Let's check it out, guys. Okay, guys, here we go with that MagTac 180 grain bonded jacketed hollow point. Let's check this one out. Let's go take a look. Okay guys, you can see where that mag tech smacked in. Pretty much tearing in. Don't see a wound track developing. Little bit of something happening right here. And then as we follow that on down, we definitely got something going on right here. Doesn't look like any major expansion at this point. Let's move this on down. We get to about the, the 10 to 11 right there. That just looks like nothing but streamline. And then all of a sudden we get to this 14. Let me get down here to the 14. Get down there to the 14. Definitely streamlining at this point. Get over into that second block. And you can see the bullet right down in there about 19 and a quarter. It did spin backwards. And if you guys can see down in there. It looks like it's clogged full of denim and there's nothing but a denim streak right here. So let me pop that up out of there real quick. One pedal came back totally clogged with denim in there. So there you guys have it. That wound track we've probably seen down there that was trying to develop between the six and the eight. That was probably when that pedal opened, spun this thing around backwards, but definitely clogged. Weights and measurements and post guys. Okay, let's try one more of those mag techs without denim. Well, let's check this one out. That looks a little better. Okay, there's that second track. You can see where it first hits about a half an inch in, starts to expand. We're down to about one, one and a half. It's starting to develop pretty decent. Get on down to about three. Full development, not a bad little track there. About the one, looks like it starts to taper. Right around that six, streamlines. Streamlining again. And then we come up to the ruler and I pulled it out right at about 13 and a quarter. And it was facing sideways when I pulled it out so there's the second run of that mag tech and that's just tooling marks for me pulling it out this stuff's hard to get pulled out of this gel weights and measurements and post okay guys since this 180 grain bonded mag tech wasn't that expensive and I got a whole box of 50 of them except what I shot in velocity testing in the couple rounds that I shot let's do something fun Let's put three of them as long as the gel cooperates in quick succession and see what they kind of turn out like on the camera. Here we go. I know there's already shots in there. We'll just deal with it. Let's go check it out. Well, guys, there you have it. Three shots. I wouldn't call it rapid fire, but pretty quick fire. We got one about 10, 10 and a quarter. We got one down here at about 13, and then we got the other one right there at about 12 and a half. They all went mushroom back pretty well. Not very deep penetration. This was bare gel, mind you. Uh, dude, I'm sure some lines got crossed, all that kind of stuff. Uh, actually, my grouping was pretty good. There's the three shots right there in the front. One, two, three. So yeah, there's gonna be some lines getting crossed, stuff like that. Oh well, we were doing this for fun. 
but you know, this is what happens when you really have to shoot. You know, you're not going to sit there and place them when you think they're going to go every time, so I'm just going to pull it up out of there.